back to my channel. So today is my first update from my Beauty Bank Makeup Rehab. I did start this in November. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna go through my empties. I do have a little bit of skincare, maybe one hair care, two hair cares, and some makeup empties, which I'm really excited about. Um, but as I said, I did start this makeup rehab slash beauty bank in November and I only count my makeup empties and my eyeshadow pans for my points. So I started my point system in November and I started with a negative 0.5 <laughs> which is not good um, meaning that I had to finish some makeup items or hit some pans to just get in the positive. Um, I also am going to talk through some items that are new in my collection. Uh, thankfully I didn't buy any of this and I did say that if it is a gift or something that I received for Christmas or for my birthday or blah 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 then it won't be counted for my beauty bags. I just don't think it's fair. Um, so I'll go through everything that I received this Christmas or like this last month. Um, I personally didn't buy anything so I'm super excited that I none of this is being taken out and I do have some makeup items so that can be counted for my point system and I do have some eyeshadow pans as well that I hit this month which is really really exciting so if you want to stay tuned I'm going to start with my empties first then I'll talk through my eyeshadow pans and then um and then everything new that came in my collection and then we'll talk through points as well so yeah let's get started all right, so I've got my empties in here. I have totaled them up. I have 10 empties in total for this month, and five of them are makeup empties, which I think is the best month I've ever had. Uh, because I only started tracking this in November officially with whether it's makeup items or not, I don't have anything to go by, but in November I finished two makeup items, this month I finished five, which is crazy. I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish that every single month. I'm lucky if I can finish one, to be honest with you. I didn't look back at all of my previous empty videos. I could have done that, but I just didn't, I just didn't. Um, so I could have tallied it up and seen what my averages is, but you know, it is what it is. I have, for the whole year, been tracking how many products I've finished every month, and I do have a monetary value for each month as well of how much product I've used up and I and I have the total for that for the year because for me I think that's exciting and then it gives me kind of a little bit of an incentive to or what do I want to do in 2023 so uh let yeah let's go into empties first because I just feel like I'm gonna ramble on um and okay let's start with the most boring which is like body care for me because I just I think it's so boring so this is from Kushi Naturals and it is a lemon shower gel so Misty if you're watching this I know you're not looking for a shower gel but I know at some point you were looking for a lemon scented maybe body scrub or like uh, I think it was a body scrub this is very beautiful like it smells very lemony um not a body scrub but I think this might be the scent that you're after it doesn't smell like you know, like cleaner or anything. It actually smelled like beautiful citrusy lemons. Um, but I finished this, it was just a shower gel, uh, nothing exciting. <clears throat> All right, and then I've got two hair products. I've got this coconut oil conditioning and shampoo from Coconut Oil Formula like Palmer's. It was just like a, not even like a full size or anything. I don't like that, but I wanted to finish it. And then I also finished a dry shampoo here. This is the Swatchcuff Glease Hair Repair. Um, dry shampoo and this is the only one currently that I can find near me that does not leave a white cast so I will be uh, repurchasing that one then I've got skincare so I've got two skincare here I've and they're pretty hefty ones as well so I've got this Estee Lauder nutritious super pomegranate uh, cream this one I've had for quite a while now um, I got it for my birthday two years ago from my mother she did like to uh, spoil me <laughs> and it took me a long time to finish I mean two years. Uh, it's beautiful. It took me a while to realize that it was so nice. I I've usually liked every Estee Lauder product that I've ever tried and owned. I think when I had a lot of them, I am getting through them now. I don't have, I think I only have like one left. When I had a lot of them, 
um, this was probably my least favorite out of them. So even though it's nice and I really enjoyed it, I don't think that I would want to have this again or repurchase it because there are some other Estee Lauder ones that are beautiful that I would much rather have. But they're very, very expensive, but it was very nice. I started using it as a night cream because my skin during the winter does get a little bit drier. So that's what I've been using it and that's how I've been able. Well, I haven't even opened it. I will show you. See, I definitely have finished this. I finished it two days ago. And yeah, I'm sad because I don't know what else to use now. <laughs> um, next up, I've got this tonic. This is the Garnier Organic Pure Time for Perfecting uh, Toner. And this is nice. This has got salicylic acid. It's for oily decombination skin, which is the type of skin that I have. Um, and I think I finished this right at the beginning of December. I've been working on it for a good... I mean, obviously, I had I had started using it well over I guess two years at this point but uh, this year I've been really trying to get through my skincare and I haven't really been buying any skincare um and that's been working out for me but I still have so much left this one took me after I like once I actually started focusing on it I want to say it took me five months to finish maybe six months I'm not sure it might be I might be making that up but I really like it and honestly I've liked everything from the Garnier organic range um and I don't mind the time it, like it's, it's so heavily scented but I didn't mind that so I might repurchase this um because I've only got two toners left and I and I really like that one it was just so refreshing on the skin I really really enjoyed it okay then I've got all of my empties from my makeup which is super super exciting because I've never had this much <laughs> so let's start with the first one that I finished this month which is my Technique Rose Primer Oil I did mention this in uh, my musical padding project pan I was uh, padding this for the good like the whole year and I finished it uh finally it was really nice I actually kind of like a primer oil um so if I ever get the the chance to try another primer oil in the future I probably would um however I still have far too many primers so I want to get through some more before I start buying some um okay what else did I finish I finished this one this is the lip oil it's all like like off now but this is from Colourpop's on their Luxe lip oils in the shade Paper Pansy and yeah it, it just got super disgusting and dried up so I um called that done at the beginning of this month I was working on that in my colour pan and I also finished this Essence Concealer. This is the 16 stay all day, uh, like 16 hour stay all day concealer. I really like it. I thought it was a good concealer. I liked the, it wasn't super thick. I don't really like thick concealers. And I, it was a nice lighter shade. So I used it for brightening mostly. Um, but that one I finished as well. And then I also finished this lip gloss. This is the Elf Retro Paradise Lip Gloss in uh, Tropical Fruit Punch. This is discontinued, but I finally took the stopper out and I finished that. I don't know if you can see. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. I'm like showing you everything, but you probably can't even see. Um, but yeah, that one is finished too. So that is really exciting because there's like two lip products that I finished this month. Um, albeit I was working on them for a good long time. <laughs> so it wasn't just this month that I finished them, but... Um, it's nice because I have so many lip products. I did just do a lip declutter, so I got rid of a lot as well that I just know I'll never use or they're just too old. But it's nice to actually finish some as well because I'm not very good at that. And then my last one that I finished um, was in my Partners in Cream and I wasn't able to finish it for the update earlier this month, but I did finish it and it is my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Prenup. Oh my word, I've been working on this all year in the Partners in Cream, but before then I did have a really nice dip in it um, just from use and I think I worked on it a little bit last year as well. Um, actually, this wasn't in my Partners in Cream, this was in my colour pan from Misty. I think this was with my colour pan. But anyway, um, so, so excited that this is done and finished. I don't, I, I didn't count how many times I used it after that. I definitely used it over Christmas. I had nice rosy pink cheeks for Christmas. <laughs> and um, yeah, I, I, I like this blush. It took me over two years to get through it. And that, and that was like really trying too as well. Um, so I don't think that I will repurchase another Super Shock from Colourpop. Not that they're not nice, I just, 
the planner in me does not want to go through it again. <laughs> One time is enough for me. I'm so excited that I did. It's really, really cool. So yeah, that one is done. I feel like that's the proudest thing I've done <laughs> in terms of planning this year. Um, so that's really exciting. So yeah, that's 10 products in total, five of which, half of them, are makeup items, which is really exciting. Um, the monetary value of it of this month is only about £97. I think moving into 2023, I'm going to start using euros. It's going to make a little bit more sense to me because I'm trying to convert everything. And I was looking up online, everything was in euros. I was trying to convert in pounds. But because I started the year with pounds in mind, I've done everything in pounds. Um, but yeah, I think 2023, I'm just going to start talking about euros. Anyway, so yeah. 97 uh, pounds roughly um, that I used up this month, which I think is my lowest month to date, but I don't care because I finished five products. I mean, like five makeup items. I really don't care because <laughs> um, it just takes so long. And a lot of these items, yeah, they're not like super luxury. The most expensive one was the Estee Lauder. If I hadn't had that in there, it would have been like 30 quid or something. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with that. My yearly total is actually £1,680, which is really exciting. Um, I wasn't, I didn't have like a goal in mind. So I'm like, I was happy just to get a thousand, to be honest. So I think for 2023, if I could push it to 2000, then I think that would be really cool. Or like, if it's just the same amount, it's the same amount. I will track it every month just for, you know, my own like, curiosity um, but it doesn't really go towards anything okay so let's talk eyeshadow pans so I did hit two eyeshadow pans this month one of which I would have already spoken about in my Zodiac panel update which um, you might have seen if you haven't go check it out but I hit pan in the Club Nebula from Kaleidos I hit pan in Firefly if I can just hit it right here you can see that that was a really nice pan to hit. I hit that at the beginning of the month. So that was exciting. I have two pans in here now, one and two. And if I worked on it a little bit more, maybe potentially this one, I'm not really sure. Um, but anyway, so that's the first one. And then the second one, I haven't updated anybody on this. Oh, actually, I did on my Instagram because for my pan nose eyeshadows, I want to say back in April or May, I added a little side hustle panning project for myself. Um, I won't go into all of the details right now, but basically I was I rolled in a shade that I had used a lot but still hadn't panned and and then I would roll in the next shade. So I hit one pan and then I rolled in a shade from my ABH uh, Jackie Aina palette, which is the shade Ginger, and I, <laughs> I used this a total of 43 times before I hit pan. This is the longest I've ever I've ever taken to hit pan in an eyeshadow that I've actually tracked. I don't know who says it is easy to hit uh, mattes in ABH, but for me, it is not easy. And I, I did a lot of neutral looks the last few months, and it was not easy. So it's right here. This is the ginger shade. I mean, I have a pan in this shade, but this was much easier to hit pan on. Um, but yeah, I hit pan in this shade. I don't know if you can see that. I have a little tiny itty bitty pan. Um, and that was kind of like my side hustle. Uh, so yeah, that is exciting too. And I did that this month. So... Uh, 43 uses, which is crazy. All right, so let's talk numbers, right? So when I finish a makeup item, that one makeup item is one point, right? So let's say I finished November with a negative point uh, five, right? So I was z uh, negative 0 0.5. So, and every eyeshadow pan that I hit, I'm not explaining this properly, <laughs> is half a point, right? Okay, so in my calculations, because I finished five makeup items and I hit two pans, I've gone from negative 0.5 to 5.5, like a positive 5.5. So that is my like month points now, like my beauty bag. I have 5.5 to spend which really literally only means I could go out and buy five makeup items if I wanted to. 
uh, I haven't, but that means what that means, um, which is really cool. So I'm going into 2023 in a positive, in the green. Um, it's not a huge number. It's not like, you know, I'm going to give myself 50 points, blah, 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 because I wanted to be realistic with myself. And I also do want to use this project to curve my spending. So I'm very pleased with that number. Um, I don't think January I'll finish another five makeup items. So it probably will just stay that number or, pro or potentially just go down to be honest because I might just end up buying something. All right, so let's talk about all of the new items that is in my collection now, but I have not gone and bought them myself. Um, I still wanted to just shout them out because you might see them be like, hang on a minute, you said you didn't buy anything, but I see that in your shop mustache. It's because I got it for Christmas. Okay, so. Um, I have included a perfume in here. I don't really, I don't talk about perfume a lot, um, but it's like a beauty item. Um, the reason I'm not talking about skincare, I didn't receive any skincare, is because I just have too much skincare and I haven't been buying skincare. I just am on a mission to get through it. So that's why I don't count my skincare empties towards anything because I don't feel the need to go out and buy any skincare right now. So I, I'm not trying to curb my spending in that way. The only thing I really want to curb my spending on is makeup. But I did want to share perfume. So I did get the good girl from Carolina Herrera. This is the box, but I wanted to show you the actual perfume itself. It is so gorgeous. I've never owned one of her perfumes before. And yeah, of course this is called good girl. I, I, I don't know any good girl that would wear this type of shoe, but um, it is beautiful and it smells nice. So I actually got that from my mom which is really nice. And I also uh, received the NARS uh, Holiday. I got the cheek and the eyeshadow. This is from my partner. So I did do a little sneak peek on my Instagram, but yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And the eyeshadow is called Stargaze. And I think this is beautiful as well. So yeah, very excited about those. You can see I've actually played around with them. Um, I did just film a get ready with me with this, so that will be coming out uh, in the next day or two. And you can see them in action, because I did use them today. My partner, I want to just say, spoiled me rotten. He did buy me far too many eyeshadow palettes. Um, I did give him a little bit of a hint, like the NARS ones, I gave him a hint, like I, I, I would like that. Um, but otherwise I just said, oh look, it fa look fantastic, or look at Beauty Bay, and just, just see what you want. And he went a little crazy, so... <laughs> Um, I think the other thing he got from Look Fantastic before I move on to Beauty Bay is one of these Glow Play blushes from MAC. Um, I really like this and I really wanted another shade and when I went into the MAC store in September in England they didn't have any shades that I really wanted but he ended up getting me this beautiful uh, coral shade which is called That's Peachy. So I'm very excited to use that because I'm really, really into my peachy blush at the moment. Um, he also got me some Beauty Bay brushes. I did say I would like to have some more brushes in my collection, which I did actually try out today. Um, but there's a whole like batch in here that I haven't even tried. So got some Beauty Bay blushes, which is really, really nice. And then here is where it kind of like is gonna destroy my eyeshadow pad numbers. <laughs> um, I received two of the big 42 pans from Beauty Bay. So I got the Earthly one, which is this beautiful green and brown and a little bit of red. So that's the first one. For, this is like the biggest, biggest thing I've ever seen. And he also got me the Midnight one as well, which is just, absolutely beautiful it looks like this now i will say i will say something i was putting this into my spreadsheet last night and i realized when i was doing it that some of the shades are actually from my uh book of magic palette from beauty bay which is discontinued so i actually have duplicate shades i did not realize this um when these came out. I didn't know that they, they had shades in here from other palettes, but uh, I know Elixir is in the Book of Magic. Midnight is in the Book of Magic. Um, there is a few others as well. Hex is in, this is the black, and that's in the Book of Magic. And um, there's a few others. There's a few others, I think. Or maybe that was it? No, Cursed. Cursed is in the Book of Magic as well. Um, so, 
that kind of irked me a little bit. Like, I think this palette is beautiful, but um, I have the Book of Magic. I think if you never got the Book of Magic, then, you know, you'll get some of those beautiful shades in this palette, but I have the Book of Magic, so I thought that was really annoying. And I also noticed in this one, maybe I'm just stupid, and maybe that I, like, everybody's like, yeah, that's obvious, Gabby, of course they would do that. But I didn't realize. Um, I don't have the Wilderness palette, right? But had I had the Wilderness palette, I think I would have been annoyed with this one too, because there are shades in here from the Wilderness palette. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this heat shade is in the Wilderness palette, and I definitely think some of these other ones are too. So, um, I just wanted to throw that out there because I didn't realize that they did that. Um, so I got these two palettes, which I'm actually really, really thrilled about. They are enormous, but I'm very excited to do multiple multiple looks with them. Um, and then, and then, oh my gosh, I feel bad about this. He got me like the minis as well, which I don't think you realize that the Earthly Mini and the Midnight Mini have the same shades as the big ones. So I don't know what to do with these. Um, so yeah, the Midnight one has, all of these shades are in the big one. So I don't know if I, 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 I don't know. And this is the earthly one. I don't know, I'm at a loss of words. I don't really know what to do with these. Um, so just, I don't know, maybe give me your thoughts. Maybe I could give them away. But I have the berries one, which obviously there isn't a big berries one. Um, and this is beautiful. So yeah, I got a lot of eyeshadow palettes. Um, he got me six eyeshadow palettes, a blush palette and a blush feel feel rotten rotten but um very very thankful very very happy um but yeah as i said i this can't count towards my points um i would be depleted and not have any points anyway <laughs> if it did um if you didn't watch my when i my intro for this in november i did say when i do like go out and buy an eyeshadow palette it will count as one point deducted not all of those eyeshadow pans depending on how many there are um i would just view the product as a like one product um that's how i'm gonna do it but anyway yeah that is my update for my empties and my makeup rehab slash beauty bank and yeah i'm excited to go into 2023 with 5.5 points i think that's really really good number it's not super high but it does give me a little bit of flexibility if i do see one or two items that i like then I won't feel guilty to buy them because I will have that because I, I have finished. I have proof that I finished some items, which makes me happy. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching the video. Like and subscribe if you would like to, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.